Hi, my name is Thais Gibson and I'm the co-owner and creator of the Personal Development School. This is your daily breakthrough video and in this video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why fearful avoidant attachment style individuals sometimes struggle to trust their own boundaries. Um, and I'm going to tell you about why this occurs, where it comes from, and then what you can do about it. So the reason that we can sometimes feel as we're recovering and becoming more secure and, and healing our attachment style, the reason we can sometimes distrust our own boundaries is because of conditioning. So I want you to imagine, for example, that you grew up in a household, and this can really apply to anxious, preoccupied individuals as well. Um, and let's say you grew up in a household where every time you set a boundary, something negative happens. There's a bad consequence. So let's say for a fearful avoidant, maybe it's you get punished, you get yelled at, um, you're, you get guilt tripped. So maybe a parent says, oh, I can't believe you would say no to helping me with this thing, or I can't believe you would do this to me. Look at everything going on in my life. You know, so, so you get either guilted, punished, yelled at, um, whatever it might be, right? Maybe love is withheld and you're ignored and you're iced out. Um, so whatever form that takes, if that's repetitive, what ends up happening is your subconscious mind over time actually gets conditioned to feel like boundaries are a bad thing. And this is where like the insidious part of sometimes having an insecure attachment cell can come up, right? Because we can really like doubt what is healthy. And this isn't something that happens like all the time, but it can definitely, we can latch on to things that aren't healthy and we can doubt the things that are healthy because of sometimes like this sort of backwards conditioning we get. If we grow up in a household that's, you know, not optimally healthy or it doesn't have a securely or, or too securely attached parents. And so what can end up happening is you can get into a position where you feel like, oh no, if I set my boundaries, I'm going to be abandoned. I'm going to be punished. I'm going to be guilted. I'm going to feel like I'm a bad person. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to get in trouble somehow. And so you practice as part of the like exposure stuff happens to, to start actually working to set boundaries. You can get into a position where you're like, this doesn't feel good. I feel really guilty after I set a boundary. I feel really guilty if I say no to somebody. And that's okay. That just requires then the next step. And if you want to do a deep dive into this and save yourself a tremendous amount of time and just get to the root and work through it with the steps in order, you can check out the boundary reprogramming course, which I'll put a link in the description box below too. Um, but then what your next piece is, is we have to, instead of just focusing on getting our needs met by setting the boundaries, we actually have to hit the pause button and we have to actually pull out what our fears are about boundaries. You know, oh, if I set a boundary, because we'll have these conditioned beliefs, right? So so we'll believe, oh, if I set a boundary, I'm, in, I'm bad. If I set a boundary, I'm going to be abandoned. If I set a boundary, I'm going to get in trouble. If I set a boundary, I'm going to be unloved because historically maybe love was withheld for you setting boundaries. And, and so what ends up taking place is we have to go in, we have to reprogram those fears first. And then we have to return to doing some work slowly but surely on setting boundaries in different areas of life. Now, if you wanna do a deep dive into all that stuff, like I mentioned, we have an entire course on that. It helps you identify your beliefs that cause fear of setting boundaries. It helps you actually get the tools to do reprogramming around your behaviors so that you're actually setting boundaries. It helps you identify all the different types of boundaries in each of the seven areas of life. And it helps you like really audit where you're struggling to set boundaries and why and helps you really upgrade your strategies very quickly. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense. Really the root of this answer is like, this is actually a question I had from one of the members inside of the school. And, and the root of the answer is, if you want to do a deep dive, go into that course specifically. I think the student hadn't taken that course yet and was starting with the emotional mastery. So that's a really fantastic course for that. And then what you'll really see from here is that um, when you get stuck or when you feel like, oh, I can't trust myself to set boundaries or I don't know what's going on, that distrust feeling is literally those two competing parts. It's a part of you that like wants to set the boundary, knows consciously it's the healthy thing, and then has your subconscious mind with the negative associations in relationship to setting boundaries because of past experiences, then pulling up its emotions and trying to pull you backwards to stay safe or to avoid whatever it is that you've come to associate with boundaries because of those imprints from past experiences. So hopefully that makes 
so much sense. It's a really amazing question. Fantastic topic. If you want to do a deep dive, check out the link below. Um, thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in the next video.